Hi, I played the original Tomb Raider um, when it first came out all those many, many years ago and I had a bit of fun with it and uh, I noticed that Steam was selling the whole lot, um, 1 to 9, um, for t a tenner, so it worked out about £1.75 a game. And, uh, and I figured, why not? I haven't played them all, so I'll get them all in one go and I can relive a few childhood memories. Now, the first problem I had when I launched uh, Tomb Raider 1 was that uh, in order to do things, you press Control. In order to jump, you press Alt. Unfortunately, the Start button is right in the middle of those. And uh, if you hit the Start button, it exits the full screen mode, goes to the desktop, and then when you try to go back into the game, it crashes. So any progress you, you make has basically been lost because you hit, accidentally hit the Start button, which I do did at least three times before I thought, yeah, I've had enough of this, I, I've got to fix the problem. Now, um, in order to fix the problem, I've basically swapped the game into a window mode, so uh, rather than taking up the full screen as a dedicated game, it will run in a Windows menu, and this is great because it means I can swap back and forth between applications and all that kind of stuff. And the second thing I did was increase the resolution, because the first thing I noticed was, well, these graphics are old, which isn't a surprise, because it's I think it was 1996 it was released in, and uh, and, uh, and of course it's very pixelated graphics. Now, um, I played around with the Power VR hardware and stuff uh, ages ago and I knew I could get high resolution, so I decided to do that as well. So I basically doubled the resolution, which was originally 640 by 480 uh, I've doubled that to 1280 by 960 so uh, I, I did a perfect double um, because it preserves um, the original aspect ratio of the game so nothing looks stretched or anything like that and my monitor is high enough in resolution to support that and the way I went about doing this which of course everyone is now waiting for um, is to locate your Tomb Raider folder. Now it's located under Steam Games. Uh, well, Steam Games is a custom folder I made on Drive M, um, but under Steam Apps, Common, and Tomb Raider, you'll find it. Um, it may be slightly different on your hard drives because, uh, well, you probably don't have a Drive M like I do. Um, but once you find your your Tomb Raider folder, um, there are two files you need to alter: um, DOSBox tr.config and glide.ini. Now as you can see I've got two versions here. I did that by Control c select it, Control c then Control v to copy the file. It's always a good idea to make a, a backup if you're going to mess around with these things. So that's what I did. And uh, I'm just going to compare the old one. So this is the old file. And compare it to the new one. So we're going to have a look at DOSBox TR first. And very simple change. All I did was uh, change the full screen mode to false. So you've got full screen mode true here, which was the original one. I've then changed that to false. That prevents the um, whole Windows button crash issue. Um, the second thing I did was change the window resolution. As you can see, it's set to the original in the first one, and here it's set to a specific resolution of uh, 1280 times 960. And then I just saved the file. And you can close those. And then I opened up glide.ini. So this is the original one. Sorry, no, this is a new one. And this is the original one. Better not get those confused. And as you can see, what I've basically done here is just change the resolution. So that I've changed the resolution to equal 1280. And the resolution here was originally 0, 0.0. So once I did that, um, it then maintained the resolution uh, after it swapped over to the 3D drivers. So once you save that file, then just launch Tomb Raider in the normal way. So I just click on play there and it launches in DOSBox. And there we go. So there we go. We've got the uh, Tomb Raider opening cutscene. We've got the nice 3D FX uh, 3D logo. Uh, sorry about the sound and the jerkiness of the video. This video capture software isn't really designed for it. But I assure you, when I don't have the video software running, it runs perfectly. Um, if I just load up a game, as you can see. It's now a lot smoother, the graphics are uh, much better, More almost iPad game quality now to be honest. So there we go, I just killed some wolves. 
and as you can see the game is running as it should so there we go that's how you double the resolution of the game so the graphics look a bit nicer and how you solve the uh, windows crash button error so i hope you enjoy watching and i hope you enjoy the fix Ta -da.